Hi lover boys and girls. Welcome all lovers of the game Foul to Reasons Now Told. An audio blog by Ray Bianting of Airbase Ugbo Game Foul Technology. This is brought to you by Warhawk Feeds. The power to win. And also by Advanced Game Foul Academy. Enroll now with Advanced Game Foul Academy and study practical science of the game foul. Study at your own time, pace and place. Learn to breathe the game foul you want. Again this is Angel. Your Lady Luck. Before we go to the main lesson chicken talk, we will first answer a question from a follower. Here is the question. Dark foul were popular some time ago. Now they are getting popular again. One of the dark foul that has become famous in the Philippines during the time when my father was still active in cockfighting was the Wingate Brownhead. Do you have an idea what is the origin of the Wingate Roundhead? Hi, we couldn't answer with certainty because we haven't stumbled yet on an official account. Accounts that we read and heard about origins of bloodlines are often contradicting or fuzzy and unreliable here says. At any rate we will quote here an account we have read on the internet. Here is history of the Wingate Roundhead. And we quote. Back in 1870, Wingate brought over from north of Ireland a single comb strain of chickens. In color they were mostly brown-red some showing ginger color and all showing dark legs and hazel eyes. The hens were sharp and stylish looking, dark brown or ginger, some showing straw neck feathers. They were medium stationed and many grew spurs. The cocks of this family were not big cocks, brown or ginger red, dark legs and hazel eyes. Brought back and not heavy, though strong boned. They were single-stroked cocks, fast and strong in the mix-up. Not high flyers, rushing wild hitting cocks. They now want to call Wingates. Did Wingate add any new blood to the above family? Of course he did he added the blood of an English hen he brought over. A mahogany-colored hen with hazel eyes and dark lead-colored legs. He bred this hen under the Irish cock and then bred some of those cross back into the original line. Holly Chappell enters the picture. Chappell while down in Alabama on one of his trips to the South got hold of a standout cock, and brought him home. He bred him over his hens that were understood to be North Britain, and brown red crosses. Wingate got one of the cocks out of this cross and bred him over a brown red hen. That is the layout of the Wingate Irish Brown Reds as the old timers up here in the hills recall it. Unquote. So that's it. That is as far as we would know. Hope we have satisfied your curiosity. Now to our main lesson chicken talk. Here's your host. Our topic today is achieving good substance. Substance of gamefowl is its genotype or its genetic composition. It is important because substance dictates form and function of the gamefowl. An ideal genotype is either pure or heavy with the traits you desire to constitute your bloodlines type. The ideal substance will enable the characteristics you want in your gamefowl to manifest in order for it to fulfill its function. One vital step is to purify or fix these traits. Once you have identified the characteristics you want in your game fowl, and you have acquired your seed fowl, you may now proceed to further purifying and fixing said characteristics. The common practice of purifying traits is inbreeding. However, inbreeding minimizes genetic variations, thus it increases the risk of inbreeding depression. Because of this, you might as well avoid inbreeding. Anyway, inbreeding is not the only way of purifying desirable traits. You can purify good traits without resorting to inbreeding. You can purify traits even without inbreeding, and there are advantages to it. You can make desirable traits homozygous or predominant by selective breeding, by positive assortative mating or mating like to like of unrelated individuals. If you do this, you reduce the risk of unseen identical battle alias as in the case of related individuals. However, 
because you select for the desired traits you are nonetheless assured that these traits are common in the individuals you mate, and can become homozygous or preponderant even if these individuals are not related. In game foul breeding the word pure is often used to describe purity of bloodline such as pure possum sweater or pure Sanford yellow-legged hatch. One meaning of pure is pure of a bloodline. But there is another and better meaning of the word pure. Pure of a trait or characteristic. So what really is pure? In reality being pure of a name is nothing. In true breeding being pure of the good traits is everything. When a real breeder say that an individual is bred pure, it means it is pure of particular traits that are typical of the breed. This is the kind of purity that makes the substance or genetic composition of the game fowl desirable. In breeding and genetics, definitely there is pure. Pure of particular traits. So, the way to achieving good substance is to purify or fix in your bloodline the traits you desire. You can do this by repeatedly and continuously mating individuals that possess the traits you desire. It is not important whether these individuals are related or not. Indeed, it is better if they are not related so the offspring are not inbred. The important thing is that the offspring possess the traits you want in your bloodline. This topic is discussed thoroughly in the course Practical Science of the Gamefowl. What are you waiting for? Enroll now and breed the gamefowl you want.